Good morning, Baba. Good morning. Are you awake? Should we get changed and get some breakfast done? So, uh, as soon as I woke up, first thing I do is change his diaper um, so he can get more comfortable. Then, after that, I um, feed him. And then hopefully um, he will go to sleep most of the time he does um, and that's how we start the day but then we both have a little nap between half seven and probably until nine ten uh, that's depending on when he wakes up <laughs> Seven, so Chris is not home. He literally went to work around half six. Um, so every time he wake up around this time, what I do, I just go to sleep with him again because he does wake up in the middle of the night and early in the morning. Um, so it's kind of like we both catch up on the sleep. Um, so he sleep next to me, and I put him into a sleep bag rather than wrapping around. Um, with other stuff it's easier so he can kick a lot and it doesn't go anywhere um, so it's kind of safety and it doesn't go into his face or if he tries to pull or anything it's, it's kind of safe and I can a um, bit more relax or not too stressed out when I'm sleeping or too worried about him um, yeah and so yeah uh, this is our morning start wake up change diaper feed him and go back to sleep <laughs> um but i haven't introduced any kind of um, routine to him because when i asked to my health visitor um well most of them told me um it's better for them to have their own routine because obviously they are new to this world um they don't know what is their night and it's kind of yeah, let them let they know um, what they want or when they want. And uh, Theo was um, quite a fussy baby because um, every time it comes to um, changing diapers, um, he, yeah, every time he pees, he doesn't want to wait. He probably give me a minute or two and then I have to change it. Um, especially when he's awake. Easily within an hour, he can go through four to five nappies. Um, but when he sleeps, he's fine. Um, no problem. Yeah, but when he's awake, yeah. As soon as he know that you beat, yeah, it need to be changed. So it's a little fussy. And today, early morning, he was a uh, he was a bit grumpy when he woke up. Um, kind of. Uh, crying quite a lot it was hard it's just when he's uncomfortable so after feeding him um, I burp him if I'm feeding on a bottle uh, I burp him between every ounce or two and he loves being on my shoulder as well so I kind of give him a break between the drink So um, after burping him, um, we have uh, little cuddles. Um, he loves cuddles from mummy, especially when he have a grumpy day. Um, he loves daddy cuddles as well, but on a grumpy day, no, he doesn't want daddy cuddles. Um, I don't know why. Um, probably it's just because I smell like mummy or milk. Um, I have no idea. Being first time mom is hard. Every day is a learning curve as well. So I'm still learning new things every day. Uh, once we're done with the cuddle, um, I put put him back into the grow bag um, so uh, he can cuddle up to me again and then fall asleep. So I don't have to mess around after he's falling asleep putting into the sleeping bag. Um, I don't know what you call sleeping bag or grow bag. Um, we call sleeping bag and some people call it grow bag. But either way, it really comes handy and... It's kind of trust free when I sleep. I don't have to worry about he's pulling the sheets and putting over his face because he started pulling everything that he sees. So this kind of um, 
he gave me a bit of relaxation thinking that he'll be fine even if he's kicking too much while he's sleeping. He loved cuddles from mummy in the morning um, so once I put him into the grow bag I lay him next to me so we have a little chit chat uh, that depend on his mood. Um, early in the morning as I said he he woke up grumpy but seems like he's fine now um, he just want to chat with mummy um, I don't do this uh, during the night time because of um, Chrissy and we are not allowed to um, put the baby next to us and sleep in the bed because there's a lot of hazards around it um, so we have a tiny basket for him next to our bed so uh, he will sleep in the basket during the night time so he's back to sleep now. Um, I guess so. Mm. Yeah. If I have a bit more to drink from me, um, then it's off. So while he's sleeping, I get up and get changed, brush my teeth, um, um, clean my face, go to the toilet. <laughs> All kind of stuff so when he's actually wake up next time I'm ready for him uh, otherwise <laughs> I won't have a chance to do any of this um, and I don't have a morning shower because I don't feel comfortable while he's sleeping going into the shower just in case if he wakes up in between um, so I usually have my shower when Chris is home um, so even even if he cries when I'm in the shower so Chris can um, feed him the, uh, the bottle because we um, introduce formula as well so he can give him a bottle while I'm in the shower so I can have a nice relaxed shower when Chris is home Hey Bubba Are you awake? Should we go and get changed, huh? Should we? <laughs> he just woken up, um, so about to change his diaper and then let's get our day started. He's pooping. <laughs> Lovely fart. Thank you, dear. <laughs> so I changed him. He pooped, as I said, because of the fart and give it away. Um, he pooped. It wasn't a messy one, but it was a decent one. He pooped and pee. Um, so cleaned him, changed him, and then I went to feed him. Now he peed again. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change him, uh, uh, his diaper, and then I'm going to give a full body wipe. Um, while I'm changing his diaper every time I change his diaper I uh, put a barrier cream so it doesn't have he doesn't have um, any sore or he doesn't build any skin skin sore stuff like that so I use talk or uh, I don't use any powder I use cream it kind of easier rather than comparing to powder I never used it but it was recommended one after changing his diaper um, I give him a full body wipe um, because I don't bath them every day. When I asked uh, my health twister, she told me uh, if you bath him every day, he can reduce the uh, natural oil from his skin and he can potentially have a dry skin when he grow up. And personally, I have a really <laughs> bad dry skin. I'm very sensitive and I don't want him to have that. Um, so while I uh, wipe, it, wipe him down, I use some body lotion to give him a nice a massage in the morning so he can have a, a drink later and have a nice nap and he loves getting a massage when he's on his front. Um, when he's on his back face up, he kind of doesn't like it but on the back he definitely loves it. So once I done his massage, I clean his ears, behind his ears and inside his ears. Um, so kind of, um, he will feel fresh as well. Then after that, I put the cream on, then I change him. 
uh, into a new outfit of the day. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but yeah, change him into a new outfit. So once I dress him up, um, I go downstairs with him and then first thing I do is make a bottle for him. Um, so this time in the morning I usually make five ounce uh, because he had milk from me. Um, so I'm going to make five ounce of milk then I'm going to feed him. So while uh, feeding him the five ounce of milk, he usually falls asleep. So then I can have my breakfast. So guys, as you can see, I have to change my outfit because this lovely man paid on me. Um, yeah, so got him changed. Um, he pooped as well. So morning routine kind of done. To be honest, I don't have any kind of particular routine to follow. Um, I just go with the flow. It whatever he wants. He probably wake up. Usually wake up feed, pee, take a nap, feed, pee, take a nap, sometimes wake up and play, so I just don't wake him up every three hours or every two hours, sometimes he don't sleep for a good four hours, he literally play, and then sometimes he sleep for four hours and then doesn't complain and sometimes but when he's awake for four hours he's drinking from me non-stop um in between he does play he pee a lot so yeah um so as i said i don't follow any routine and this is my routine i wake up and come down now once i fed him i probably will have my breakfast this that's different if he is sleeping if he's not then i have to wait until he falls asleep and now time is half 10 as he's asleep but probably should have my breakfast and i will show what i do in a day in a different video or maybe what we both do in 24 hours <laughs> um so that's it pretty much for the morning nothing else um now he's need to back to sleep all right then guys i'll see you on my next video until then bye take care